Hey guys, okay, so one of the questions uh, that someone asked me recently was how do I control the camera on the drone, the pan, tilt and zoom on the drone itself? And a lot of the times when I'm flying the drone, it's actually really, really bright because the sun is out. And you'll notice that when you actually look at the footage, you'll notice that the footage is dark. It's not dark because the sun isn't out. It's actually dark because the sun is out and the image sensor actually picks that up. But that's beside the point. Um, the question was basically a really genuinely um, honest question and there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes when we have to capture this drone footage. Uh, firstly, because the sun is shining, the, sometimes the sun is shining at an angle, um, it's easy to put your back against the sun when you're flying the drone. However, a lot of the times when you have to take drone footage, it's not like you can actually move the sun. So sometimes the drone has to fly into the sun and you are actually looking line of sight at the drone, especially since they recommend that you never fly your drone out of the line of sight. And so a lot of the times I fly my drone by line of sight. Um, and so a lot of the times my eyes hit the sun and I've learned that when the eyes hit the sun for a few seconds or so, it really affects your vision. And so a lot of the times I have to actually estimate or guesstimate how I'm actually flying the drone, especially when it comes to the sun. So a lot of the times if I'm flying that drone out into the sun, I only look until it reaches a certain height and then I look away from the drone. And so a lot of it, as I say, is actually guesstimating. But the thing about it is, is that it's guesstimating, with all, but you can also use, of course, the drone feed for the Phantom. Of course, as you know, you can actually see what's going on via the wireless video feed. And so sometimes I actually look at the video feed um, and that helps me when I'm flying the drone. However, you have to know as a new, if you are new to flying a drone, that this doesn't always help you getting the drone back to you. Because sometimes you're so high up, if you're 300 meters up in the air, it's hard to see the drone from where you are, line of sight. And also, it's hard for, the, for you to see where the drone is pointing. And if you don't know where the drone is pointing, you might be pressing forward and that drone might actually be not flying to you but away from you, depending on how it's oriented in the sky. So a lot of the times I actually wear a hat and that hat keeps the sunlight away and it also allows me to be able to see better on the screen. Uh, but as, as I say, a lot of the times you have to always try to remember a spot that you visualize on the screen uh, where you are located and that's how you can fly back home. Of course, there's also the return to home function on the drone. Yes, it works. It has never failed me yet, but I don't trust it 100%. And so I really use that last resort, especially since it uses a lot of power when you request it to return to home, especially because it has to fly up to a certain height before returning. So if, for example, your battery is already low, returning to home will help, but it's going to use a lot of your battery to reach back because it has to make a height first before it returns. With that being said, I've never had to use it to, in, in, a, in a situation like that. So I always suggest that if, you know, DJI recommends that you don't run the battery underneath 30%. So by about 40%, I'm already programmed to try to bring that drone back. And because it's normally within the line of sight, I'm within the correct distance for it to return within the 10%. And a lot of the times as well too, in terms of getting this footage, you have to always remember that you are controlling the gimbal, of course, and you have a certain amount of control of the gimbal. And you both look at the drone itself, where the drone is located, make sure that there is no flying birds and so forth that could attack the drone. And then, of course, you look at your screen and your screen, of course, will, may have a little bit of a lag. So you gradually and slowly turn this knob and gradually drop or go up according to that. And that's how basically I do it. So guys, I hope that this helps you understand what goes on in the mind of, a, of doing the actual flight. It's, it can be stressful. Um, a lot of the times it stresses me out, but really and truly, I enjoy doing it, not just for myself, but I enjoy bringing back footage that you guys will like. And so a lot of the times it's not just flying the drone. For me, flying the drone, yes, it, it gives you a certain amount of satisfaction. But really, the, amount, the, the, 
the most amount of satisfaction I get is actually bringing these videos back to you and sharing it with you guys. So guys, I hope that you enjoy my videos. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Objects.